Welcome back. In modifying your Canva doc, you can go to your magic menu. And one of the things you're going to notice here is that you can add in lists. You can add in bulleted or numbered lists. And these lists are going to work in the very same way that the checklist also works. For example, if we click on bulleted list and we were to type in our points, when we click the enter button, that gives us another element of the list that Canva will be creating for you inside of the Canva doc. And you have all of the common editing elements. You can highlight your content. You can click delete. You can backspace over the last element and then you will no longer have the element inside of your Canva doc. If we go back to our magic menu, what you're going to notice after the numbered list is that you can place in an emoji. If you click the emoji button, you can then search for the right emoji. Once you find it, you can click on that emoji and you can place it inside of your Canva doc. In order to get rid of the emoji, you can backspace over the information. You can go back to your magic menu. What you're then going to notice is that you can add in charts. You can add in either a pie chart, a bar chart, or a line chart. If we were to choose one of these charts, assuming that we chose a bar chart, you're going to see the information and the chart as is inside of your Canva doc. You can then control the elements of the chart. You can clear all the data in the chart. You can control the chart by using the settings. If you want to show the legends, if you want to show labels, if you want to show grid lines. If we want to get rid of the chart, all we really need to do is to backspace over the chart. Now, there are two elements inside of your magic menu that will not be part of your document, but that you have access to. One is their help button, and this gives you access to all of the magic commands that you can place in. You'll also have access to your timer. And you'll see that timer here on the left side menu. And you have now seen the elements to edit and use your Canva doc application. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.